Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a full body sculpt workout. So the goal today is to burn calories while we sculpt lean muscle throughout the entire body. I really wanted to choreograph a workout for you guys for when you wanna get back into fitness or back into shape. Maybe you're a mom or things have been crazy at work and you haven't been able to work out for a while and you're ready to get back into fitness. I just really wanted to make a sexy, feminine, feel-good workout for you guys that's not super crazy intense, but I still want you to feel like you got a good sweat, feel like everything in your body got worked by the end of this class today. So when you're ready to get back into it, this is the workout for you. For equipment, we will be using a mat. We'll be using a set of light hand weights. I'm using three pounds. Feel free to go a little bit heavier or lighter. We will also be using a chair for a little bit of a sexy thigh and booty section and we'll also be using it for the upper body section. So go ahead and have your chair on standby. I'll tell you when you need it. Grab your weights, your water, your mat, and let's get started. All right, come to center. Head goes side to side. Left and right. Three, two, and one. Down and up. Drop, lift. Three, two, and one. Shoulders back, circle. Reverse, bring it forward. Take it back again. And forward, four, three, two, arms up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Lift. And lower. Two more. Last time, stand tall. Add a flat back. Inhale, up. Flat back forward, roll up four, three, two, one. Inhale up, flat back forward, roll up four, three, two, one. Again, up, stretch, Just roll it up. Last time, up and forward, roll it up. Hands behind the head, some standing abs. Knee to elbow, then reach toward that toe. Knee to elbow, and reach. You don't have to lift that leg too high. Just focus on the twist. Last time. Other side, here we go. Knee, reach. Three, two more. Stand up tall. Last time. Squeeze the arms together, elbows in. Four, three, one squeeze, one press, in, up. Three, two, standing abs, knee to elbow, twist, and reach. Twist, and reach. Pull your navel toward your spine. Last time. Other side, right here, four, twist, three, good, two more, get taller, last time, good, elbows come together, please, four, three, two, squeeze and press, squeeze, push, three, two, and one, push it side right here. Palms rotate. So good. Four, three, two, hold it out, drop and lift. Palms forward, back, forward, back. Three, two, one, lower it down. Okay, take it down to the floor. We're gonna get your plank strength back a little bit, okay? Hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna tuck your toes under. Shift your weight forward just a little bit. So you're kind of in a half plank. Here's your combination. You're gonna take your hips back, bring it forward. Then you're gonna lift your knees into a little plank and lower. One more slow, back, forward. Lift the knees and lower, double time. Back, forward, knees up and down. So you're just holding that plank for a second and then your knees go back to the floor. Now press your shoulders down away from the ears. 
In that plank, make sure your body is one straight line. Two. Last time. Good, couple more right here. Let's do three. Two more. Open the chest. Last time. Good, knees go straight down to the floor. Drop the elbows. Down, up, down, up. Now, if your elbows don't touch the floor, just go halfway down. Okay, so you can modify this however you need to. We're working the triceps, the back of the upper arm. Keep it going, down and up. A few more. So good, let's go four. Abs in, three, two, and one. Let's put it together, hips back, forward, lift the knees. Now hips back, elbows drop, down, and up, back, forward, knees lifts, back, forward, elbows drop, good, are you feeling those triceps as you drop the elbows, beautiful job, yes, Whew, starting to feel those arms right here, give me two more. Last time with this combo, take it back. Knees lift. Last time, drop the elbows. Good, come into your plank, let's hold it. Four counts right here. Four, three, two, one. Knees go down, turn onto your side. Excellent job. All right, we're gonna do some inner and outer thighs. Put this foot flat on the mat. On this bottom leg, you're gonna flex your toes, turn them out to the side. So we have rotation in this hip. Press the shoulder down, lift the ribs up. Lift that leg up and down, up and down. We are getting right into it today. Are you guys already sweating? Good, lift. And really important, try to keep the toes turned out to the side on this leg right here. Squeeze. And it can be lower, it doesn't have to be super high. We're all at a different fitness level, so just work from where you're at. Push yourself, build from there. And when you feel the burn, remember, that means you're getting stronger. You're working hard. Four, three, two, whew, and one. Adding on, you have one lift right here, then you kick the top leg out. So we lift, now the top leg, energy out through the heel. Now as you kick this top leg, turn the toes and kneecap forward. Yes, kneecap forward. Yes, so we have turn out in this leg, but not in this leg. That's gonna help us fire off the glutes and the outer thigh. Now hold your abs in here. Don't forget about the shoulder, press it down. We don't wanna sink into our arms. A few more, take it up, push it up. Up, push it out, two more, good. Getting into these legs right here. Now same thing, but we're gonna do three of each. So pulse up, two, three, and down. Kick out, two, three, and down. Pulse up, two, three, and down. Push out, two, three, and down. I know you might be feeling it in this arm. Stay with me, we're almost there, and then we'll give it a break. Okay, you're getting stronger. This is practice for holding a side plank eventually, okay? We're building up that strength. Give me two more. Up, abs, hold it in. Push energy out through that heel. Last time, up, two, three, and down. Push, out, two, now hold it out right here. You're gonna drop that leg down, come down onto your hand. Now I get to rest this arm. We're gonna burn out this outer thigh. Lift that leg, up and down, up and down. Now remember, keep the toes and the kneecap pointing forward, and I would like you to keep the toes flexed. 
Yes. Abs in. Lift. Lift. Four. Three. Two. And one. Up for three. Up. Two. Three. Down. We are almost there. Up. Two. Three. Down. Up. Last time. Good, last move right here. You're gonna bring it up and hold. Energy out. Push two times right here. Then two pulses up. Push and push. Pulse it and push. So good. Up. Oh my gosh, you're feeling the legs working. Give me two more, just like this. Last time. Beautiful job. All right, come all the way up. Let's we'll swing your legs around. We're gonna do that on the other side, starting with that plank. All right, so let's reset your posture. Shoulders down and back. Remember, hands come underneath your shoulders. You're gonna tuck the toes under. Take your hips back, bring it forward. Then lift the knees, hold that plank, and lower. Here we go. Back, forward, lift, lower. Back, forward, lift, and lower. Beautiful. Straight line through the body in that plank. Yes. Good. Couple more. Three. Two. Pull the navel toward your spine. Close the bottom of the ribs. We're activating that core. Now stay here. Drop the elbows down and up. Press the heels of your palms into the floor. Keep your shoulders pressed down away from the ears. How are you doing? So good. Down, up, down, up. Stay with me. Four more. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna put both those moves together. Hips back, knees lift, take it up. Hips back. Drop the elbows down. Good. Here we go. Hips back. Knees up. Hips back. Elbows drop. So good, you guys. Come on, push power through right here. I know we're feeling those arms. Give me two more. Just do what you can. If you ever need to take a break during this workout, shake it out and then hop right back in. There's no shame in taking breaks, okay? Good, we're gonna hold that plank, lift it up. Hold four, three, two, one, knees down. Beautiful job, let's take your inner and outer thighs on the other side, elbow under shoulder, lift your ribs up, shoulder down, top leg, foot comes on the floor. Flex that foot, turn the toes out to the side, lift, lower. Lift, lower, beautiful. Now pull the navel toward your spine. You wanna keep this core engaged the whole time. Yes. Squeeze up. Up. Few more. Four. Three. Two. And one, adding on, lift, lower, top leg, kick it out. Lift, lower, out, in, squeeze. Push energy out through the heel, lift, out. Few more. How are you doing? Feeling those legs, feeling those arms. Everything's working right here. Last time like this. Good, now pulse for three. Here we go. It goes up, two, three, down. Push out, two, three, down. Up, two, three, down. Out, two, three, and down. Good. 
Keep that core engaged the whole time. Up. Push. Couple more. You got it. Stay with me. Now when you get more advanced, you might add some ankle weights to this. Just an option as you get stronger. All right, lower that leg down. Head comes on the hand. Lift that top leg up and down. Kneecap and toes pointing forward. Keep this navel pulled toward the spine. Close the bottom of the rib cage. Now don't lift that leg too high. If you lift it too high, you actually turn the glutes off and you're not working that outer thigh. That's why we keep it a little bit smaller. So we're targeting the right muscles. Shake it up. Lift up for three. Up, two, three, and down. Up, two, three, and down. Good, right here. Take a deep cleansing breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. Good. Last time. Good, bring it up and hold. Pulse two times, then kick two times. Up, up. Kick, kick, up and up. Two pushes, two lifts. If you need to take a break, shake it out and then hop right back in. Finish strong with me right here. Push, lift, give me two more, come on. When you feel that burn, that means change is happening, okay? Push, and rest. So good, you guys. Come on up. All right, go ahead and grab a sip of water. Grab your hand weights and your chair. Meet me back here. All right, you guys, you've got your weights right here. We've got your chair. I've just kind of angled it so you can see. You can keep it pointing forward if you want. You're gonna take the legs wide, toes turned out, shoulders down and back. Weights come up by your chest. Slow booty taps down to the chair and lift it back up. Push your butt and your hips back. Keep your chest lifted. Weight in your heels. Good. A few more right here. Nice and slow. Lift. Three. Lift. So good, two more. All right, you guys, we're gonna speed it up. Take your weights downward to the floor. Down, curl, press, lower. Down, curl, press, lower. So you're still tapping your butt to that chair if you can. If you can't get all the way down yet, that's fine. You can take a smaller bend in the knees. Down, press up. Now as the weights go up, the shoulders stay down. Hold your abs in. Two more. Press. Sit back. Press. Sit back. Two more. Last time. Bicep curl, palms towards each other, then palms up. Palms towards each other and up. So you keep your elbows in front of the hip bones the whole time. Open the chest, shoulders down. Get taller. Good. Starting to feel those biceps right here. Two more. Last time. Good, hold your weights up. Right here, you're gonna sit, feet together, open, lift. Sit, feet together, open, lift. When you're ready, press the weights up as you tap the toes in. Cross. Good. Down, push. Open, lift. Down, push. Yes, you have to use your abs to help you stand back up. One more right here. All right, keep your legs wide, new move. You're gonna cross jab right here. Cross, cross. Weights go up just to shoulder height. I want you to use your core, really twist. Push, push. Good. Now here's your combination. It goes four, three, two, one, sit, toes tap, out, 
and up. Push, four, three, two, one, sit, press, out, and lift, good. Keep it up, strong arms, down, press, open, lift, good, up. Stay with it, right here. Come on, couple more. Last time, right here. Push. Yep. Sit down. So good, feet together right here. Give me soft knees. Kick it out, in, out, in. Looks like this from the side. Take a little lean forward. Get the weights up behind you. So again, we're working the triceps. Back of the upper arm, take it out, out. Good, four more right here. Four, three, two. Now keep it going. You're gonna keep the chest forward. Take it out, in. I'm just turning so you can see. Out. Hold your abs in, straight back right here. Don't let it arch, right? Three, two, and one. Excellent job. Both weights go in one hand. Okay, you're gonna rest the left hand and left knee on that chair. From right here, you're gonna row back, release. Back, release. Good, now make sure you're not opening the shoulder, okay? That upper body stays still, it's just that arm moving. Elbow goes straight back behind you. Good, pull, pull. Keep that core engaged, yes. Four more. Four, three, two, hold it back. Pulse, eight counts right here. Eight, seven, six, little squeeze. Four, three, two, and one. Release from the top. We're gonna do it again, not as many reps this time, okay? Deep breath, stay with me. Slow butt taps right here. Four, and lift. Three, and lift. Good, feeling the thighs, feeling the arms and the back. Last time, speed it up, weights go down right here. Tap your butt, curl, press up. Here we go. Down, press up. Good, get taller. Yes, stay with it. Four more. Three. Two more. Last time. Good, bicep curl. Palms towards each other. Then open. Towards each other. Open. Stand up tall. So good. Four, three, two, sit down, feet together, down, up, open, lift, down, toes tap, good, bring the knees together, yes, so good. Four more. Last time, right here. Good, stand up, cross jab, push. Yes. Couple more here. Four, three, two, one. Then sit, toes tap, open, cross jab. Four, three, two, one. Good, sit, tap, open, lift, four, sit, oh my goodness, shoulders on fire, yes.
One more time, come on. Push. Good, come up and hold. Feet together, soft knees. Take it back, forward, back, forward. Weights up behind you. Keep the knees bent. Come on, get those weights up. Hold that lean forward, just the weight. Kick it out. In. Seven. Back is straight. Four more. Come on. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Both weights now. Left hand this time. Other side. Hand and knee on that chair. Pull it back. Release. Pull back. Release. Squeeze. Pull the shoulder blades together. Come on. We are almost there. Last move in this whole upper body series. Four more. Four. So good. Three. Two. And one. Pull it back. Pulse eight. Seven. Six. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Two. One. Lower down. Excellent job, you guys. Weights go on the side. Keep the chair. All right, you guys. Keep your chair. I'm just going to scoot mine over a bit. We are going to do thighs and booty. My favorite part of the class right here. Okay, so you're going to come to one side of your chair. Turn your toes on the diagonal towards that chair. Take a little step in. You're going to take that left leg. You're going to step back into a lunge. Make sure this front knee is behind the toes. If your weight is forward, that's really going to hurt your knee. So keep your weight back. Then you're going to tap your foot to the chair. Hand goes down. You're going to kick your leg back behind you. Turn the kneecap out to the side. Tap the chair. It goes lunge, tap, kick it back and tap. Your leg does not have to be high. Okay, you can keep this as big or as small as you want. Good. Tap, kick it back. Tap, nice slow lunge. This is what we like to call a slow burn. Come on, lift that leg up. Squeeze your glutes, and then shift your weight back in that lunge. Tap, kick it out. Tap, and lunge. Now if you need to modify, you can definitely keep your leg lower, and you can keep the lunge smaller. Breathe. Hold your abs in. Nice proud chest, shoulders down and back. Yes. Give me one more. Good, you're gonna hold that leg back. Tap your toe down to the floor, right behind your head. Both hands come on that chair. Bend this standing knee. You're gonna lift your leg up and tap. Up and tap. Take it however fast or slow you want to. Squeeze your booty as you lift that leg. Keep your knee cap turned out to the side. So good, you guys. Oh yes, feeling the booty. You'll feel it on the standing leg too. Yes, feeling that burn on the side. Squeeze. Come on. Four more. Four. Three, two, hold it up. Let's pulse eight times. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, higher, four, three, higher, two, one, lower down. Roll it up. Flip around, other side. So good. All right, face that chair on the diagonal. Lunge, tap. 
Kick it back. Tap. Lunge. Tap. Kick it back. Tap. Take it slower if you need to. Good, how you doing? All right, you guys, we're almost there. See if you can get a little bit lower in this lunge. Drop it down. Lift the chest. Few more. Wait a minute. Good, stay with it. You don't even know me. You don't even know my name. You don't even know me. Why you say two more? You don't even know me. Why are you playing games? Last time. Good, hold that leg back right here. Bend that standing knee. Tap that toe down. Both hands on the chair, lift and lower. Squeeze. Make sure you're lifting that leg right behind the head. Squeeze. Hold your abs in. I know, feeling it on that standing side. This leg is working so hard to stabilize and support. So that's why you're feeling the burn on the standing leg. Totally normal. Good, lift your chest up and away from that chair. Squeeze. Squeeze. Make sure you're keeping that kneecap turned out to the side just a little bit. Deep breath right here. Take it up and pulse for eight right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. Roll it up. Beautiful job, you guys. All right, last series. We're gonna do abs. Go ahead and move that chair, come down onto the mat. All right, come all the way down. Head goes on the mat. All right, we're gonna lift your legs up. Go ahead and keep your knees just slightly bent. Point the ankles, okay, so you're not having any strain in the back of your legs. Your palms are gonna come down, hovering off the floor. Arms go overhead, tap one foot down and lift. Other side, here we go. Tap and lift. Good, now you can tap your toes down or you can take your leg out straight. That will be a little bit harder. So you choose which one you wanna do. So good. Now try to keep your lower back pressed toward the mat. Don't let it arch up too much. Good, now both legs, tap it down, toes up to the ceiling. Tap it down, toes up. As you lift the legs, you might feel a little stretch in your hamstrings, that's good. Now the further away from your butt you tap your feet down, the harder it will be. So if you want a challenge, tap your toes away and lift. Few more. Good, stay with me. Let's go two. And last one, feet stay on the floor. Hands behind the head, slow crunch. Lift one knee and lower. Other side, lift one knee and lower. Take it up. And down. And up. And down. Good, in that crunch, try to get your shoulder blades up off the mat and try to keep your elbows out to the side. Crunch up nice and high. Good. Two more. Last one, we're gonna hold it up, crunch up nice and high. You're gonna switch the legs three times and hold. One, two, three, and hold. One, two, three, and hold. If this is too much, just put your head back on the floor, just do the legs. Tap, 
two, three, and hold. If you want to make it harder, try to crunch up a little bit higher. Last time, right here. Tap, two, three, so good. Palms back down, both legs up from the top right here. Take one leg out and pull it back. Other side, pull it back. If you can't get it straight, that's fine. Just tap your toe down to the floor and lift. Good, build from where you are. Two more. Last time. Good, both toes tap all the way down. Both legs together, toes up to the ceiling. Tap it down and lift. Stay with me. Lower abs right here. Good, two more. Come on. Last time, leave your feet on the floor, hands behind the head. Crunch and lift one knee. Take it up. Lower down. Take it up. Now, if you want to make this harder, twist. Pull the knee toward the opposite elbow and then switch. Knee to elbow and switch. So you're going to get a little bit more side abs right here. Good. Couple more. Few more. Abs in. Last time, go ahead and hold it up. Switch the leg three times and hold. One, two, three, and hold. Now if you want, you can twist your upper body, keeping the knee pulling toward the opposite elbow. Good, so you're doing a little biking motion right here. Good, again, modification, your head stays on the floor. Good. Last time. Beautiful job, feet go down, keep that crunch. I'm gonna be mean, we're gonna hold the crunch, pulse for eight, let's go. Eight, seven, last move of the whole class. Four, three, two, one, head down. Pull your knees into your chest. Rock your hips side to side. Excellent job, you guys. Go ahead and rock on up to a sit. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good workout. If you ever want to make this class a little bit harder as you get stronger, you can go heavier with your weights and you can add a set of light ankle weights. If you like this style of workout and you would like more classes from me, head over to my website, fitbycoachkel.com. I have a lot of different workouts in different formats. Everything is specializing in like this very feminine kind of dancey style. Um, and that's it, you guys. Have a fantastic week. I'll see you next time.